Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Good morning, you guys. If you're wondering, Chad, you sound awfully funny, and you're wondering if it's your speakers. It's not. It's me. I am under the weather, but I'm super excited to be devoting ourselves to the Lord daily. Y'all say a little prayer for him. In sickness and in health, everyone. This is what we do. Okay, anyways, we're picking back up with Live on Purpose, so Tori's going to take it from here. Yes, y'all, let's do it. Today's devotional is titled, Get to Know His Voice. And the verse is 2 Corinthians 5, 7 that says, We live by faith, not by sight. I absolutely love the story of Jesus walking out to his disciples on the water in Matthew 14, 22 through 33. There's just so much truth in those few lines. One of the things that really convicts me is that everyone in the boat saw the same thing. It was a nightmare for everyone. It was windy for everyone, and the waves were big for everyone. But only one of them walked out on the water to meet Jesus. Why was it different for Peter that night? I think it has to do with Peter's words right after Jesus said, Don't be afraid. Peter said, Lord, if it's you... Tell me to come to you on the water. That statement is so powerful to me, and here's why. If I had been on the boat, seeing something blurry out there and wondering if it were Jesus, I feel like I would have said, Hey, Jesus, come a little closer so I can make sure it's really you. If I see that it's you, then I'll walk out to you. But Peter didn't say that. Peter knew that if he heard Jesus' voice, he was stepping out. The Lord was inviting Peter into a moment with him, and he didn't want to miss it. How many moments do we miss with Jesus because we're afraid to step out of the boat, because we want to see ahead of time how it's all going to work out, because we don't know or fully trust his voice? Peter stepped out of the boat because he knew Jesus' voice, If we want to be bold in our faith, we have to know his voice too. We have to know his word. The fact is, if we want to follow Jesus, we have to trust the word. In order to trust it, we need to have confidence in it. And in order to have confidence, we have to know it. Let's be honest. The unknown makes us uncomfortable. So we ask Jesus to come just a little closer and to prove himself before we step out to meet him. But he has already given us his word to be a lamp to our feet and to guide us when the wind is blowing and the waves are crashing and we can't clearly see where we're going. Don't miss another invitation from Jesus. Open up his word, get to know his voice, and step out of the boat. Yeah, this is a great point place for us to focus on. I don't know if you all remember, I shared this story a while back about <clears throat> how I love sea turtles. <laughs> love sea turtles. <laughs> I love sea turtles. And I shared this story about how when Tori and I were snorkeling in, in Hawaii, that's all I wanted to see. Cause I've seen the whales, the dolphins, I've seen all the cool stuff, but I've, I've always wanted to see a sea turtle. Long story short, I ended up seeing one, but it looked very different than what I thought it was going to look like. And I, the guide actually pointed out to me and I was reflecting upon that after the fact. And I was like, wow, if I knew what to look for, I would have been able to, I probably missed several sea turtles, but I was looking for green sea turtles, not brown ones. Anyways, I say that is because then I started to think how many other things has God put right in front of my face? How many other things has God said to me or prompted me or, or like done for me that I just haven't had eyes to see or ears to hear. Mm -hmm. And I was at this men's group recently. And one of the things I actually talked to Tori about this yesterday, about how important it is for us to pray and say, Lord, silence the voice of the enemy. Me mm-hmm. and help me trust your voice and know that it is from you. Yeah. And then I would just sit and listen. And now I want to just take that on, on a much larger scale and do it every yeah. single day mm-hmm. to, to know that I can trust the Holy Spirit to silence the voice of the enemy, yeah. to silence the voice of my own sinfulness, and to make his voice known in my life. Yeah. And it'll look and sound different to everybody. But 
I'm just, as you're reading the devotional, there is a line in there that said, how many times have you missed out on experiencing something with Jesus because yeah. you didn't know it was him? Right. And that's me a lot of the time because I was so afraid to trust if it's his voice. Cause well, what if it's actually the enemy or, or more likely, what if it's my own sinful desire saying mm-hmm. this? Right. Yeah. And so just like what the devotional said, it's important to know his word mm-hmm. that way we can test it and discern. Right. But we also have the Holy spirit living within us to say, mm-hmm. Lord, silence the voice of the enemy and my sinful thoughts and help me trust that this is you. Yeah, that's so good. I feel like just the the word, the unknown, has really been on my heart recently. If you read our monthly newsletter, a lot of it was literally about this just a couple days ago. Because I feel like the Lord is calling Chad and I into a season that looks a little bit unknown. And anytime God is like stirring something in you that like you don't know exactly what it's going to look like, there's some type of fear (laughs) attached to it a little bit because you're like, Mm -hmm. man, I I like I'm comfortable, you know, like I know our routine. I know our home. Like I, it's just it's known. It's comfort. Right. But I imagine Peter man, that couldn't be comfortable, right? To literally like step out of a boat in the middle of a raging storm to a figure that you can barely discern, but you just know the voice of Jesus. Like, and we always talk about how funny it is when we sing the song Oceans and we're like praying, like, Lord, take me into the deep unknown. Like, help me. And we're like, man, that's actually a really scary prayer to pray sometimes because walking out into the great unknown can be kind of scary, Mm -hmm. but the Lord does not give us a spirit of fear. And so as our trust rises in him, I feel like our fear diminishes. And just how Chad was saying too, like sometimes we miss out on these opportunities because we hear the voice of God. And then we allow the questions of the enemy to come in just like it did in the garden. Did God really say that? Mm -hmm. Did God really call you to that? And we allow those questions to like crumble us. And then we don't take the step that Jesus is calling us to take. And then we miss out on the thing that God has. And it just, it's like, dang it, right? Like, I don't want to miss out on what God has for me. I want to trust him. I want to step out in faith. Like, Lord, help me. I love the prayer in the Bible where it's like, Lord, help me with my unbelief. I pray it all the time, especially when we're like praying big prayers. I'm trying to believe for something that feels impossible. And I'm like, man, God, help me with my unbelief. Holy Spirit, help build my faith in this season, in this moment, when it's not easy to trust, when it's not easy to step out. I don't want to live my life like that. I want to be courageous. Like I want to be the person that discerns your voice quickly and obeys quickly. And I'm on the path quickly. You don't have to reroute me because I stayed on the path, but it definitely takes discipline to get in his word, to know his word. That way, when you do hear his voice, it's like that quick discernment and you don't allow the questions of the enemy to derail your thoughts. And so Yeah, I totally went off on a tangent there, but I definitely want to be more like Peter in those moments where it's like, okay, I hear the voice and I just go. Yeah, I think the thing that Tor and I are trying to encourage us all in right now is that there were other disciples on the boat, but Peter stepped out. Right. And God wants us all to step out. Mm -hmm. And those other disciples, they like, I don't want to say they missed out, but there's like a weird analogy. And this is probably my medicine talking, so take this with a grain of salt. <laughs> but imagine the difference between going to the movies, right? You're sitting in the movies, you, you're enjoying the movie, whatever. Or you go to the movies with all of your best friends. Everyone gets popcorn. Everyone gets a drink. Everyone gets snacks. Then you're sitting there watching a favorite movie, and, like, you're laughing with your best friends, you know? It's a different experience. There's, there's so much more is what we're trying to say. Yeah. And like, yeah, you can go watch the movie. That's fine too. Or there's so much more. Mm-hmm. And so when Jesus says metaphorically to you, step outside the boat, mm-hmm. that that's the more yeah. that we're trying to talk about. So good. There's a cough drop, right? <laughs> it's so distracting. <laughs> it's okay. You want to pray something out? I do. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, first and foremost, we just lift Chad up to you right now. Lord, we pray for healing from the top of his head to the bottom of his toes, Lord, that he will... Um, be healed quickly um, and feel better in the name of Jesus. But also, God, we just thank you for this devotional. 
we pray that you would silence the voice of the enemy, God, and the voice of our own thoughts and sinful nature. Father, that when we open your word, that you would just allow us to soak it in, Father, that we wouldn't just read it, but that we would absorb it so that we can live it, Father. Would you magnify your voice in our life, God, so we can hear you clearly? Would you give us the courage to live a faith-filled life? Father, to not be scared of the unknown, but journey into it with excitement because we know that's where you are. We know that anywhere you call us to is exactly where we need to be, Father, and we want to be on this journey with you. We want to be on the narrow path, not the wide one where everyone else is, God, the narrow path because we know a life hand in hand with you is so much more satisfying than anything that the world has to offer us. So God, we thank you. We thank you for calling us into this life. We thank you that we get to do life with you, that we get to follow you, Father. We thank you that you are Lord over our life, and it is a joy for us to be obedient to you. Father, we love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, God. Amen, God. Amen, y'all. Now is that perfect time to break out the worship music, break out the journal, and continue pressing to the Lord. Yes, and y'all don't forget that you are God's masterpiece. And don't forget that we love you. We love you guys, and we're talking to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.